Hello people, so it is right now 9.10 a.m. on Saturday, and today, in a couple hours, I'm going to be playing with my girl. And so what I decided to do is I am going to do this video, and then I'm going to do a second video, which is going to be a before and after a play scene. Um, this is not an impromptu play scene. This is an extended, pre-planned play scene. And I'll go into a little bit of detail about what I'm going to be doing, just so you have a little bit of knowledge of what it is I'm doing and the prep work that I'm having to do. Because I think one of the things that people don't understand is for a play scene to work as well as it should, part of what the dominant should have to do is take time and plan things out. And not only plan them out, but then deal with the physical preparation of it. Little things like, this is one of my bandanas that I have uh, folded and, yeah, it's, well, it's cleaned, but it was clean, cleaned yet, uh, two days ago when I did laundry. Um, so I haven't worn it since then. Um, but it's, I had, I untied it because I normally just keep all my bandanas tied. Um, untied it, laid it out, folded, you know, refolded it, and turned it into a blindfold. This is part of my prep work. What I'm planning on doing is doing a a scene where when she comes over, I have already told her, and this is part of the prep work as well, of letting them know any de any little detail they need so that when they walk in the door, they're already ready. I told her to wear clothing that she doesn't want to go home with. Everything that she's going to be wearing will be destroyed. Using knives, uh, I have a couple of my knives that I'm starting to get ready. Uh, I'm going to be cleaning them. I have <clears throat> my safety uh, safety scissors, which if you do not own a pair of safety scissors and you're playing this lifestyle, what's wrong with you? They're cheap. They're on uh, they're on uh, Amazon. Um, you can also find them. Um, you can if you really want to make sure you. Uh, I don't know if he still does it yet, but Jay Wiseman um, is a person that uh, buys, tests, and only sells high, you know, the high quality, you know, user usually usable uh, safety scissors for specifically cutting things like leather. If you don't own a pair of safety scissors, fix that. You can get them almost anywhere now. Uh, usually, they're in the medical supply section. If you go to any drugstore, they're going to have them get a couple pair. I always have a pair here. Usually in some place that I can get to quickly because if I'm doing a scene where somebody is tied up, I want to be able to extract them from that as soon as possible. And things like leather can be replaced. People can't. Just keep that in mind. But the main body of the play that we're going to be doing is going to be me cutting all of her clothes off. Using my knives, using uh, using scissors. But it's not just a matter of taking scissors and going snip, snip, snip. It's taking the time, taking the energy, making it sensual, making it sexy, making it hot. You're not trying to just rush through it. The slower it can be done, the slower it can feel, the, the slower it is, sometimes the more intense it can be. Uh, sometimes quick, fast, also, um, you know, slow followed by quick and fast has a tendency to, to heighten that as well. Um, right now, I'm very excited. I, I, I've been planning on this for at least a week, and... Uh, when I knew that I would be able to have her pretty much all day Saturday, um, sometime this afternoon, that 
I, uh, I wanted to do something spectacular. I didn't want to do just, you know, come over here and strip her naked and, you know, flub her a little bit and fuck her. I, I wanted to do something a little bit more intense. And, I yeah, I've cut off a few pieces of clothing with her, but I've never done a full... She walks in the door completely dressed, and then by the time I'm done with her, she's completely naked, cutting off of clothing with her. And especially the fact that I'm planning on doing... Uh, a blindfold. I'm planning on doing a gag. She's going to have her cuffs on. Um, if you see on my door over here, yeah, uh, those little straps, uh, those are little hook, uh, little um, little hooks that her cuffs are actually going to be attached to. So uh, she's going to be um, basically immobile while I do this, and then after that, I can just have my way with her. And that's part of it. It's like I set up 75% of the plan and the other 25% is just do it on the fly. I'm extremely excited about it. I'm really anticipating it. I'm spending, you know, I am off work today. And so I'm spending all of my day uh, prepping for this. Uh, cleaning my room, even though it doesn't need a ton of work. It does still a few things here or there. Um nice long shower, um, making sure I have the right music, making sure uh, the atmosphere in the room is right. Uh, if you notice, there's a ton of natural light coming in right now. Um, and I know it screws with the camera and I don't care. Um, but those blinds are going to be closed, so I have to think of different alternative lighting because when I do remove the blindfold from her, I want it to feel warm and nice and comforting. And... May, again, anything that you do, you want to put effort into it. You don't want to just, you know, throw it out like there's nothing going on. You want every little aspect of what you're doing to have meaning. That to, that to, up to and including how I'm dressed. And I'm going to have, you know, be dressed very, very differently than I am right now. Um, it is going to be purposely an intense scene you have to keep in mind not only when you are the dominant not only what you're thinking and you're feeling but what they're going to be thinking and what they're going to be feeling part of what a good dominant should do is be able to read their emotions you're not going to read their minds you can never read their minds but their thoughts translate into physical action, physical emo physical motion, verbal verbal you know sounds and words and any you know all of those things. And you have to be able to process at a million miles an hour, because if you don't, and you miss something, you're going to wind up causing a scene that just is going to fall apart. But. Like I said, this is just part one. Uh, I'm probably just going to post this video as is and then retitle it and put a new card up later. So if you're watching it later than, uh, than this Saturday, uh, again, today is um, Saturday the 12th. Um, as I'm recording this, it is uh, 9, uh, 9.19. So I will be recording another one later today and posting it later today as the end of this so take this as what it is learn the lessons that i'm trying to impart on you and take it from there that's it for now be well and safe